Today I'm going to show you how to make a new bracelet. It is, I'm calling it a ruffled feather bracelet. This one I'm going to show you today is a cuff bracelet. We're going to do it on six pegs on each side of the rainbow loom. So it's going to be a loom bracelet and each side is going to be six pegs on two bars of the loom. Let's get started. I'm using brown and tan for this one today. And we're starting off with the brown. We're going to start off with eights. Going across. We get a lot of questions about my bands. I discovered that you can get bands at the, from the Rainbow Loom Company. And I like to recommend them because they're an American company. And I like to recommend them also because they're a family company and they're the ones that started all of this rainbow loom stuff so one two three four five and one more they have bands for a really good price online you can get a bag of 300 I believe it's for um, three dollars and the shipping if you get several bags it's worth it it's only a dollar fifty for shipping so it's a really good price and they have these really nice silicone bags they've got some nice metallics and stuff so um, that's where I ordered my last ones from okay so I've got six going across and from here we're gonna add the next color and this is what, where it gets a little trickier these are all pushed down you're gonna put it around let me focus this a little better for you. Not good enough. There we go. So we've got six going across. The next row we're going to put the band around six pegs. Oh. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take it and push it in like an hourglass. Okay. And then you're going to take it down one row where you push it in like the hourglass and take it down six more pegs push it in like an hourglass Okay. and you're going to take it down to here where your overlap is oops, wrong color Long spot right here. Okay. Around six pegs. Push it in like an hourglass. This is what we got so far. Okay. So all we're doing is shifting down one row every time. Hourglass, shift down one row. Hourglass, shift down one row. Hourglass, shift down one row. Okay, so we're right here, and this is our last hourglass. This is what it looks like when you're done. Okay, then you're going to take the bottom row, pull it up over the top row, into the middle. Oops. And our flash just turned off on us. I don't know why it does that to me. Decides it doesn't want to be on. And we'll turn it and do the other side. Into the middle. No, brown is not on the bottom on this one like it should be. So I'm just going to go up and under to get it. So here we go. 
and pull it up around and in the middle. Cooperate. Thank you. Okay, so once you've got them all pulled up and over, push them all the way down. Okay, and then your next row is just going to be a row going across. I'm just alternating between two colors. And of course, use whatever color combination you want with this. I plan on flipping my colors in the middle of this to give it a variation. All right, if you got this row on, you're just flipping to the middle again. And you're pulling two on some of these rows. If it's too tight to pull both of them, because sometimes that'll pull off your top piece, pull them one at a time. But you're pulling all the ones that are on the bottom over that top one you just put, just put on. I do think it works better taking them over one at a time. A lot of times I've tried to pull two over and just pop that top one right off. Which can be aggravating once you've done a lot of the cuff and then you're pulling it apart. Yes, I've had that happen to me too. Okay, the next row again is the hourglass. Put it over six pegs. Push in the middle. Move down one row. That one broke. Six pegs. Push in the middle. Move down one row. Six pegs. Push in the middle. One row. Come on, six pegs. Silicone bands are a little tighter than the other bands, but I like to look better. Okay, and there is how it looks. Pull the bottoms over the tops. This row is going to be easier for you to pull over than the hourglass row. Because this is the looser row that gives you the fluffy look, which is why I call it the ruffled feather. Push everything down again. I'm going to do this one more time. So you can get it. If you don't get it after this time, just rewind and repeat. And hopefully you'll be able to get it after that.
trying to get one, but I don't want to count, so I guess I'm taking them both. Okay, I'm going to do the hourglasses one more time for you so you can see how that's done again. Once you get to a certain point in length, you're actually going to want to start pushing this down in through here because it doesn't necessarily go through easily. So I actually start pushing it down through. All right, this is the last time I'm going to do the hourglasses, and then um, if you're not getting it, please rewind and repeat it. Okay, round six tuck in the middle one. Move down one row. Around six. Tuck in the middle one. Move down one row. Oops, that band broke. I've done one of these and had it almost all done and had a band break on me. It was very sad. Because it wasn't fixable where it broke. Okay. So that is how it's going to look. I'm going to... I'm not going to bother pulling these over for you because you got the idea. You should have the idea by now. If not, go ahead and rewind it. And um, the trickiest part of this is how you're putting on the hourglasses. And uh, I'm going to pause and come back when I have it done far enough to pull it off for a bracelet. Okay, now I'm at the point where I'm ready to finish off the ruffle feather cuff. I started out with the um, dark on the outside and a little on the inside. And then I flip-flopped it so you could see what both would look like. I'm going to end with the rows that you put across. And these are the rows you're always going to want to end with. Pulls these over one at a time. Less chance of you pulling the top band. Oops. Oh, that wasn't good. Crash. Let's get readjusted here. Maybe adjust it up a little better. Sorry about that. Less chance of you pulling the top one off if you pull them over one at a time.
All right, camera, cooperate and stop learning. All right, now from this point, you are going to take your end piece. You're going to grab whatever color you did, that you want to use for this. Grab your end piece. Take your hook and put it through two. And then two more. So I'm putting it through four bands. I think I've got it through four. I don't actually have got it through three, but that's okay. It's not an exact science for this end one. You're just putting it through what's going to look best. And I've got three that are available. Pull it through, hook it over the end. And you're going to grab your loom. Take off the end one. Both pieces. And slide them through these two. And you're going to take off this one. And slide it through. You're going to grab another band, go back to your end, hook here, hook a band, your band here, grab this band, and pull it through these two. Put it over the end. Pull it through, both those bands through your single. Okay. Then you're going back to your loom, taking this off, and pulling it through these two. Let me get this to focus a little better for you. There we go. And you're going to take this one off. And pull it through. And you're going to keep doing this until you are down to the end. So we're going to grab another band. Go back to the end again. And go through two more. Hand one, I want to put on one. Pull it through the two. Hook it on the end. And pull both of these through here. Go back to these and pull them through. One at a time. One. And then two. Okay, and you're going back to the end of your piece. Putting it through again. Do two more. Come on, cooperate. Two more. Grab another band. Pull it through. Put it on the end. Oops, sorry. Getting ahead of myself. Don't take that off yet. Pull these two through this single. Now go up here, take this one off, which I think I already did. Let me poke this up a little here. Yep, it's right here, since I pulled it off already. And pull it through. Grab the next one. And pull it through. Okay. 
back down to your end piece. Put it through two more bands. Pull them through. Put it on the end. Pull it through your single. Back up here. Pull this off. Pull it through the two. Pull this off. Pull it through the single. Back to your bracelet for the last end here. Well, actually, it's not going to be going to do one more then. Come on. Hold still. Put it through two. Grab your band. Pull it through the two. Hook it on the end. Pull it through the one. Go back to your loom. Pull these off one at a time and pull them through. One. And two, and that's your last one off. And go back one more time to your cuff, because this is your end piece for your cuff. Pull it through, put it on, pull it through this last piece. Okay, so you've got it all the way through on the cuff. Now you're going to take your loom apart. Focus here a little bit so you can see what we're doing. I'm going to disassemble your loom because you need to do that because you just built your cuff all the way around your loom. And your loom is, your cuff is completely together now. As you can see. Okay. And you only have one place here to put your C-clip or whatever kind of clip you're using. You're going to put it through these two bands and then just find a spot here on the end to hook it into. Okay, and then you've got your cuff together, which is what we're going to do now. Find my clip. So I'm going to put the clip through here. Through these two. It's a little harder for me with my nails. I love these clips though, they go on so much easier than most. Okay, so I put it through the two, and then I'm going to find a spot on the side to put it through. Or you can put it on the back, in the back somewhere so it doesn't show as well, which I think I'll do. Put it through a couple on the back. Another nice thing about these clips, I don't know if you've seen these, I get these with the bands that I get. A lot of people ask me about my bands. They're from the Lucky Loom Company. You can get them on Amazon. I love them because they're so beautifully round and they're such nice colors. But these clips lock into place, as you can see, which is really nice and they're real easy to put on, even with my nails. Okay, so here you have it, the Ruffled Feather Cuff. I hope you like it, and if you check back with my videos, this is the single um, single cap one, and I have a double cap one that I'm doing, and then I'm going to do a, a video showing you how to put um, some bling on them that I think you're going to like. I had some charms sent to me from another company that I'm going to show you how to put them on. So, check back. I hope you like it.